you're naturally pretty. This is that type of vibe. Hey guys, we are natural beauties today. I'm gonna be showing you the bare minimum natural makeup that you need for like an everyday look. There's some techniques in here that you probably have never heard before. And it's backwards from what I normally say, but trust me on this, just try it. Darker concealer under the eyes, works every time, I'm just saying. The goal today is not to look like a glam Kim Kardashian, it is to look like the best version of yourself on an everyday basis. And that is the type of makeup that I have been wearing lately when I'm not doing videos. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. I've been living in this minimal look for the past year, I feel like, I feel like a lot of us have. This is my favorite type of look. I start off with my brows, so I already did did my brows because my brows do take me a while but when I'm ready to set my brows in place I'll take the Kosas air brow and brush the little hairs upwards if you follow me for a while you know I don't have brow hair so I really do some brow surgery with them and I have videos on that but after I do that then I'll go in with my lash curler and I will start at the base and I'll pump my curler and move it slowly upward so that it gives me a nice curl that lasts what really, really makes my lash curl last is this. And I learned this trick from TikTok. I'll link him below. It's a makeup artist that I really, really love. But I am going to just put this underneath my brow. This is the brow setter from Benefit, the 24-hour brow setter. Makeup by Spencer. Oh my God, I just completely went blank. But Makeup by Spencer actually taught me this through TikTok because it is very wet, so I don't want to go back in and curl them. I want it to dry up. And my lashes literally grow straight down on the ends. So this has helped so much. So I'm gonna let that sit and dry a little bit. And I'm gonna go on to my skin. Skincare is so important, you guys. Exfoliate your skin before you start your makeup. I'm gonna take this Hydra Boost from Makeup Forever. It's 24 hour hydration. I actually love how it comes in this little tube right here. It just makes it so easy to put it on your face. I just like to draw things on my face with my makeup. It makes life fun. Put it into my neck. Anything that I can to get this skin hydrated, just dewy and oily, give it to me. As you can see, I have darkness under my eyes, so I do like to use a brightening under eye. This Banana Bright from Ulla Henriksen was reformulated and it's amazing. I thought it was good before and it's still really good, but they reformulated something in it. It has vitamin C and collagen and it's brightening. So I just take a little bit of this before I put on any makeup under my eyes so that my under eyes are hydrated and they're not gonna get as creasy. Your skin is literally the whole look. So you want it to look as dewy, healthy, hydrated as possible. Curl them again and I'll do the same technique. I'll pump it right at the base and then I'll slowly move it upwards and you're gonna get nicest long lasting curl. Bam. And then after you do that, go in with your mascara. And I just put a little bit on the tips of my lashes. Before I put on any more makeup, I'll put on a hydrating fine mist. This is just gonna help my skin stay smooth and hydrated throughout each step. If you have oily skin, there's mattifying ones with vitamins in it. So just anything that's gonna have benefits for your skin and keep it hydrated and moist, use it. Okay, so once I've done that, then I wanna have this like underneath type of glow. I don't wanna have too much highlight on. So I'm gonna take the Skin Gloss in Glossed Peach and I just take it on my fingers like this. And I like to put this on underneath my makeup. So I'll put it on right in this area, right along the cheekbones, atop of the nose, in the center of the forehead, really anywhere I want to glow. This has hyaluronic acid in it too, so it's going to nourish your skin with hydration. So I haven't been putting on foundation for a while, and with this look, I'm not going to put on a foundation. I'm going to put on a tinted SPF and a tinted moisturizer. These two together are amazing. I recently just got this as new. I've been trying it for about a week. I love the hydration it gives you. Both of these together are gonna give you like, you're still gonna be able to see your skin. It's just gonna be even glowy and flawless. It's gonna look like you woke up with beautiful skin, not like you have makeup on it, you know, or even lightweight makeup. It just looks like good skin. So these two together are my favorite. I actually love to use my hands to blend in my SPF and my creams on my face. It gives you the most flawless, smooth, skin-like look the smoothest, more than a brush or a beauty sponge can do for you. So I put that on and then I'm also gonna put some in my hand. I know it's gonna look crazy, but I mix these together with my fingers and the warm touch of my hands 
really melt the products together beautifully into my skin. So if you're somebody that forgets to put on your SPF, this type of makeup is gonna be great for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this off. This is actually way too much, you guys, sorry. I'm gonna tap it in now like this. Kind of brings the blood a little bit to the surface of your face. And it also helps to pat in the makeup so nicely. So I get that ultra hydrated, dewy, glowy skin. And I'll just go back over and make sure everything is nice and blended and there's no streaks. And then if I get a little bit too much close to my under eye, I'll remove it. You don't want too much product under your eye. So I'll just make sure that I wipe some of that off. But I'm gonna go in and bronze my face now. So I'm gonna use the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. This is a medium bronze. I'm gonna take it on my brush. This is the It Cosmetics number no. seven brush. I'm gonna take it on the back of my hand because you're always gonna have a lot, like way too much product when you initially put the brush in. So I just dab it on my hand and then I'm gonna apply it to my face. And the way I look at the bronze, here is kind of like the base for our contour. You can just bronze your face and that's fine. I don't feel like I need to contour my cheeks, but I always contour my nose. It's kind of like the transition shade in your eye for your face when you're contouring. It gives you that gradual look into the structure that you're trying to create. I'm gonna go in with the smaller end, tap it on the back of my hand and just kind of go over the way I want my nose to be shaped. My nose kind of goes to one side a little bit more than the other. So I like to just kind of straighten that out, line it up with my brows. Make sure it's even. I'm gonna take my LYS bronzer stick. This is actually a great contour shade for me. So this is the shade Harmony. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna take this side and I'm gonna go into my nose and I just put a little dot here so that it's not as pointy. And then I'll go in to the sides and kind of lift it up a little bit too and just create this shadow right on top and I'm just going into the eye a little bit more. That way the structure flows a little easier. Blend this out until you do not see any lines anymore. So sometimes that even means to go back over with the fluffier brush. The cheeks, I can live without contouring my cheeks, especially for a minimal look. It's just the nose for me. It might be different for everybody, but that is pretty much it for the bronze. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the concealer. I'm gonna show you how I do it when I don't have makeup on. So take the Dominique Wide Awake Concealer. I love that it has a metal tip, but I'm actually going to just mix colors on a palette today because I don't want a bright under eye. I actually want, we're gonna go deeper than usual. I don't wanna brighten too much. I just want it to match my skin tone. So it's like, basically try to match your skin or go a little a tiny bit deeper than what you would normally do, like at least one to two shades, which sounds crazy for a concealer. I'm just gonna take oat milk and I'm also gonna take Frappuccino and we're gonna mix it together. It's actually good that there is a little bit of contour and bronze on this because it's gonna make it a little bit deeper and I kind of want that. I know you guys are like, what is she doing right now? But trust me, it'll look the most natural. It won't make you look tired. It won't make you look sleepy. It'll just make you look like you have naturally good skin and even tone under your eyes. So going a little bit deeper and patting it in. Also try to avoid going too far up. It is difficult. Sometimes I still get up to the lash line, but try not to go all the way up to the lash line because that doesn't look natural either. You can clearly see somebody's trying to brighten their under eye. Just try to stay below this area right here. Now this inner corner is fine. You can go into there and around the nose, but I'm going to go in now with my finger and tap it in. I'm telling you the natural warmth of your skin will give you the best blend. Try it out, it is a little messy, but it looks so beautiful. I still kind of go back in with a beauty sponge just to make sure there's no streaks in the skin. And if you have a blemish that you do wanna cover up, this would be the perfect shade to do that with. It's gonna be for all over the skin. And you're gonna use a very light hand when you're doing this. Keep a makeup wipe next to you so that you can just wipe your fingers off because it is kind of messy, but I really like how it makes my skin look. Okay, so I'm back. I put some lashes on. These are the Birdie lashes in the Style Bear. I'll have them linked below. I wear these every day. I feel like these are practically my lashes now. <laughs> They're my lash extensions. I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lashes. This is the Extended Play from MAC. It gives you the most separated, natural, wispy lash. I love it. We just want to give, this is my natural long lashes that I was born with can't help it. So that is basically what it gives me. Blush is gonna be perfect for fall. This is Warm Peach 
from Dominique. It's a cream blush. It has hyaluronic acid in it. All my products always are gonna have a hydrating benefit because of my dry self. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a beauty sponge and just pat it in to my skin like this, just to give me like a flush of color. This is gonna be a little bit more warm because I feel like that's perfect for fall time, but you can do more of a pinkier tone or more of a warm red, whatever matches your skin tone best. Fall is next month, but I still feel like pumpkin spice is around the corner. So this is giving me pumpkin spice. So the powder I'm going in with is from Dominique. This is a hydrating matte. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It's my favorite ingredient and it's a hydrating matte. So it's not gonna look flat. I'm just gonna go in with a little powder and I'm not gonna go too far up. I'm just gonna go around it. I'm gonna go right in the center so it doesn't look like I have oily skin. It just, it's gonna look fresh. It's the way it makes your skin look so smooth. And I want it to look smooth in this area, especially if you have large pores in these types of areas, which I do. And that is pretty much what I do. Hydrated, it's healthy, it's glowy, and that is my skin. Then I'll go back over with the Fine Mist. I'm gonna go in with a lip liner from Dominique. This is the shade Crush. And I just line the center part of my lip and the lower part. And then I'll do a little bit on the corner. And this is giving me shape. And Crush is just like a nice pinky mauve color. So it's gonna look more natural. I'm gonna go over with the Raspberry Drip from Rum Beauty. So this is the final look. You're basically not wearing any makeup. You're naturally pretty. This is that type of vibe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to thumbs it up. Let me know what techniques really helped you in this video. Let me know if there's some techniques that you know that I don't know. Please share them in the comments below for all of us. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Just know that you are beautiful on the inside. We're enhancing your already natural beauty on the outside. And that's what really counts is what's in the inside. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. And until then, bye guys.